I've brought some steps that will help you to improve the sound quality. So let's start with the basics. Audio is produced by hardware, so you have to ensure that the drives on your systems are up to date. Normally, when you format your computer, the drives that Windows 10 automatically installs are quite old, so you should update them. So when an audio drive is outdated, it can lead to problems that directly affect sound playback, and this can result in low volume, distortion, or low quality audio. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure that your computer audio drives are always up to date to achieve the best performance and sound quality. So now in this part of the video, we explore the method number one to improve your PC audio, which is updating the drive audios. To check that out, you're gonna go to Windows, then you're gonna drive Device Manager. The first one that show up, you're gonna click it and go to Audio Inputs and Output. You're gonna find your audio, right click on your mouse and go to update driver, search automatically for drives and, and for me the best drive for my device are already installed. To so check that out, you can also go to search for update drives or Windows update, there is also a way, Windows update and go and check for updates, there is one but it's nothing relatable to, to the audio thing so you are gonna skip it. Now, it may seem obvious, but sometimes the volume is accidentally set to low or even muted, causing the audio to appear weak or non-existent. So, to rectify this, take a moment to locate the volume controls on your laptop. So, in a question to improve and enhance the audio of your laptop or computer, the second method that we are going to explore is checking the volume levels. It may seem like a simple step, like I said, but it is often overlooked and can greatly impact your sound experience. For me, we are going to Window and I'm going to write Audio and go to Sound Settings. You're going to check all those options, and once you have checked and adjust the volume settings, Try playing an audio or video files again to see if the sound has improved. If the problem persists, you may need to explore other potential causes. But here you are going to check that out. App volume and device preference. And you are going to check if everything here is 100%. Now, there is another way to do it and that we can do to improve your system because the, the method number one will see you update your drives the method number two that is where you are if that doesn't help you maybe the third one will help you you are going to the right inferior corner of your computer sounds click the right button and go to sounds here we are going to playback we are going to locate our audio drive and, and click with the right button and go to properties here we are going to level check if that is 100% we are going to enhancement and now you are going to click bass bust and loudness equalization then you are going apply and ok this is one option that I used a lot while I was playing Call of Duty and PUBG back in the days and it used to help me a lot to hear the sounds of the steps of the enemies so it may help you another thing that you can do is also go to the same place here on the right corner click with the right button and audio go to open sound settings go to sounds and then we are going to play back locate the audio driver again click with the right button go to properties and then we are going to advance it and choose the mode to to the last one the studio quality go to apply and ok if this method worked for you please leave a comment below so another people can see that it worked for you and for me as well. If it doesn't, let's go to the next step. The method number 4 is with an application called Boom 3D. It's a paid application but you can use for 30 days and that's enough to know if it will solve your problem. And of course, fix it for a while. There are several ways on YouTube that you can look for or even I do it myself which teach you how to reset this third time period. I will leave the program link in the description just download it, click to open and install, there is no secret, just click next, next and that's it. It won't ask for anything more than that. And that is the program, when you open it will go like this, you're going to click continue, you're gonna click on skip intro, start booming, you're going to sign up, you're gonna log in with your Google account, Facebook, if you don't want that, you're gonna go to next and create your account using your email. For me, I'm going to choose the Google option that is easier, and now I've unlocked 29 days 
of free trial you are going to OK and here we are going to click here to select the sound type so in my case I use 9 channel for you probably is an over here or system speakers then we are going to do 3D surround click in here we are going to click on plus and that's it and here we can adjust the ambience fidelity night mode special and pitch the only thing that we need to click is in 3D surround click on plus and go to equalizer and that's it check if that method worked for you if this method worked for you please leave a comment below and if it doesn't let's go to the next step okay so the method number five we also use the equalizer option but from the system itself it's a unique setup so just use it none of the others work okay you can not use at the same time with the others so let's go to the right inferior corner click with the right button in sounds go to sounds and here we are going to playback we are going to find the drive, the auto drive. We are going to click with the right button, go to properties, go to enhancements for me. That isn't that option, but I'm going to leave a video that shows a little bit of that. And you do just the same, okay? So basically, you're going to click in equalizer and then in loudness equalization, just like that. And then click in these little three dots and put all of those things in the max. Go to save, select the name that you want, it can be any name, click OK, click apply and OK, and that's it. This is the method number 5, this method works for many people, if it works for you please leave a comment below. Basically you install your auto driver, restart your computer and it will restart automatically. So I recommend to you doing this because sometimes the audio is low or with a problem because it's a bug which is easily solved that way. It happened to me before and I fix it like this. So to do that we are going to Windows, we are going to write device manager, then we are going to, to audio inputs and outputs. We are going to our auto drive, click with the right button and go to uninstall device. After that we are going to go window, power, and restart. If this method worked for you, please leave a comment below. If it doesn't, leave a comment as well for me to know. And let's go to the method number 7. The method number 7, it will definitely fix your audio when it comes to low audio when surfing the internet. This is because we are going to install an extension for Chrome or Opera that allows this, called the Volume Booster. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. It's very simple and easy to install. I'm gonna click the link, add it to Opera, then you are going to YouTube or something like you want like Netflix or something like that, you are going to click in some video that you want, you are going to click in your extension, you can turn the volume up or down, so this method will certainly work for you, please leave a comment below, if you like it please leave a like, if you aren't subscribed please leave your subscribe and I see you in the next video.